Truzers, Truzers. It's Thursday, it's Trues on the move. We need to talk, don't we? We need to talk about a lot of the Truzes we've been doing. For example, the Trues on the Queen and zero hour contracts. It has a good purpose because you, you, know, you take the three biggest issues of the week and running through them actually helps you to order your own mind. Right, I'm going to see the Queen. I better order my mind. Mine should be in order anyway, the Prime Minister of England. And how come it's only three issues? Oh God, what am I going to leave out? ISIS or the fact that some MPs are pedos? Let's leave the last one out. Actually trying to think through the best way of explaining what the big picture of what the government's trying to do and how it's going, it kind of helps you sort it out in your own mind. How did it go this week, David? Mm, it was quite good, as a matter of fact. Some blag on zero-hour contracts, Mum. <sighs> Don't worry your head about it. Tss. Here's some of your comments. Sizimavoid goes, The Queen can get the boot. Royalty's another redundant system protecting its own existence like capitalism. I agree with you there, Sizimavoid. A lot of these systems seem to exist primarily or almost solely to preserve their own existence. What is the function of capitalism except for self-preservation? It's got no real ideals, it's got no social ideals, like, you know, we can change things and make things better, create new institutions. All it wants to do is protect itself and the band of privilege at the top. But Max Kaiser, the economist, tells me that what we're living under now isn't ca even capitalism. It's a new thing called socialism for the rich, because under capitalism, those failing banks would have been left to fail instead of being propped up like zombies. Derek Copland says, the royals do bring in money from tourism, but essentially they can all fuck off. We don't need them. Cameron can fuck off too. I was going to make an intelligent comment, but can't be asked right now because of Cameron I won't have enough money to feed myself next week. I'm more concerned about that. Fair point from Derek there. He's so fed up that he's fallen into a, a comment laced with F words. He's so angry. But Derek, I do understand. Sometimes you think, oh, why have I got to articulate this when I could simply tell everyone to fuck off? I understand your frustration, mate. Martial law. I've never understood the argument the royal family brings a lot of money from tourism. Do you believe tourists come to England to get a selfie with the Queen? Yeah. Imagine trying to get one with her, you'd be shot. This morning I was driving down Pall Mall and all them geezers marching along in those big long tall hats. I thought, this is like, in a way, in microcosm, representing the problem. It was a beautiful spectacle of pageantry to see those men marching along in bearskin hats, but it was holding up the traffic. The bear skin hats are, I think, made out of real bear skin, unless they've won that campaign that they were doing to get rid of it. And the whole thing's sort of pointless. I mean, I'd like the look of a royal wedding, but if the actual cost of it is a hegemony of inequality, that means an immobile system where everyone's getting shafted, knock it on the head. If you're saying the Queen's there for tourism, a lot more people will come to see her in a fish tank, swinging over the River Thames like David Blaine, do that. Paulie76, you're so unpatriotic, Russell. God save our Queen. <laughs> I'm not unpatriotic, I love England. I just think by saving our Queen, we're destroying ourselves. Sam Green, as much as I'm behind almost everything you say, bar the pornography and religious stuff, look, I don't even agree with the pornography stuff. I like pornography, I'm just saying, is it good that I like it? I've got this irrational love of the Queen, and I think it would be awful to get rid of the monarchy. I've got that irrational love of it. It's not irrational, it's rational. You've been trained your whole life. It's like you've been told that it's good, it's on the money that you spend. You've There's a song called God Save the Queen, sang all the bloody time. It's not irrational, it's coaching. That's coaching, hypnosis, brainwashing, conditioning. I've got it as well. I'm happy to give them 61p a year to stay around. It's not 61p, mate. It's freedom that you're paying. It's costing you a lot more than money to have her on your money. The function that she fulfills is totemic, isn't it? It's the idea that our tribe comes together under this icon. But just get a rabbit or something. Like the old days, it would have just been a rabbit. We in our village worship the rabbit. Why? Well, we eat the rabbit. That's a strange thing. Yeah, but, you know, by making sacrifices to the rabbit, we worship it, and the rabbit god is our friend. That's the instinct, that's the impulse, that's fine. Look after the rabbits, the rabbits look after you. We look after the queen, does the queen look after us? Zero hours. Luis Cancino, I heard somewhere that the people of Iceland managed to get their country back from the bankers by putting them in jail. What do you think about it, Russell? I don't know that they actually did put them in jail. I think that they refused to pay back the debts and there certainly was a successful revolution in Iceland, but where there wasn't a, a, a suitable system based on true alternative ideas, I think they drifted back to a kind of parliamentary democracy that it was comparable to what happened before it, but they did avoid paying back those phony debts to the financial industry, so that's a success. But it shows us that unless we collectivise and break down the traditional systems of power, we will revert to
to the magnetism of existing conditions. So it's not enough to just have a revolution, we have to have a revolution and say, after this revolution, we're going to collectivise these private corporations. We are going to cooperate within these industries. We're going to have these minimum standards. All groups and, civ and societies and communities will be fully autonomous within these agreed boundaries. Now, if we can get into power under an ideology like that, we should do better even than Iceland. <laughs> That's why mum's gone to Iceland. Under Russell's law, says 18T220, we'd all be using food banks. He wants communism. Now, 18T220, there's so many things wrong with your 12-word comment that I don't know where to start. Firstly, under Russell's law, I think I'll start with. There is no Russell's law. <laughs> under my law, we'd all be using food banks. What, do you think I want to pass a law where we all use food banks or we're all so impoverished that we have to use food banks? He wants communism. I don't want communism. I want community. I want common unity. I want people to come together democratically, actually, and vote for what people want in their own communities. Would we all be using food banks? No. We'd uh, probably be growing a lot more local organic food. We'd probably be much more involved with our own nature and our, and our integrated into life. Do, would I want a state-controlled socialist system? Absolutely not. Christ on a goat. Why doesn't Russell Brand go on a zero-hour contract, considering he's such a man of the people? Well, I think I probably am on a zero-hour contract. I've got no money at all from doing the truth. But I'm also not saying that everyone should go on a zero hour contract, quite the contrary. I'm saying everyone's got a right to work in secure conditions and be paid well and feel safe and connected. So nothing in your comment makes sense. Damon Reese, dear Russell, I'm writing to advise you against using your laptop on a pillow or any other insulating surface. They can get very hot and burn your parts and we'd be very sad if that happened. Best of luck. Damon, this is the kind of Easter kindness that I warmly welcome. So don't put it here today because we're a trues on the move. It is directly onto the lap and I've got a bit of a fear that it's emanating potentially genital eroding stuff. Kai Matthias, Write trues on your banknotes. I like it, Kai. I like it a lot. Mick, have you got any banknotes on ya? Come on, Mick. Hand it over. Look at Mickey money. It's wadded. Trues. Trues. It's not even my money. <laughs> but I've written trues all over it. Hopefully, you're, some of you will get some of these trues monies in circulation before we invent our own currency away from it. Thanks, Kai, Matthias. It's a new campaign. It's a new craze that's sweeping the nation. Write trues on your money for Easter, for we are born again. True news, subscribe here and write trues there. Trues. Nose is a tool that is abused to fool you and to leave you scared and confused. Trues is like the news. If the news was true, I want some trues. Let's have some trues.